Welcome, Joystick Justice League, to episode three of Judgment Day, our video game review show. Today, for you guys, I've got three really cool, three of my favorite free to play games right now available on uh, portable devices, mainly the iOS devices. First up, we got Jetpack Joyride from Half Brick Studios. Now, these guys have had some of my favorite games on uh, portable devices lately, namely Colossatron and Monster Dash, two of my absolute uh, favorite portable games right now. And this is also one of them. This is basically a take on the Endless Runner genre, but with uh, some cool little uh, additions to it. It's not just a straight up Endless Runner. And this there's uh, also power-ups. As you're going along, you can uh, Like the little icons to give you cool uh, kind of abilities, you know, like uh, there's one that's like they call it the crazy transport, where you can uh, kind of change your location on the screen, and go up and down to collect more coins and stuff like that. You can even get a motorcycle, a gravity suit, like a, a dragon that you can ride, uh, even a, a wave runner, stuff like that. Really cool stuff, and uh, you can also collect little icons that uh, allow you uh, w once you die to uh, basically play like a, a slot machine and that also gives you some other added uh, kind of stuff too like uh, it can give you uh, a head start say for the, your, ne your next uh, playthrough or uh, like an explosion that can uh, blow you a little bit further along after you've died so uh, just really cool stuff no not just your traditional endless kind of runner but with some really cool additions to, to really add for some kind of addictive gameplay Next up, I've got uh, a really kind of quirky kind of game here that I kind of stumbled across. Um, this is called Hipster Smackdown, okay, from Phase 2 Games. The gist of this game, well, we'll just put a smile on your face. You, there, there are basically two characters. There's a, a girl, the, oddly enough, they're standing on the roof of a building, I think, which is kind of odd, but uh, anyways, beside the point. You have, you have her, and then you have this, your stereotypical hipster, right? that uh, walks towards her and starts talking. And at any point, you can press the button, and then she screams, and then there's a little power-up, and then depending on where you, where, where you, uh, with the time that you press, de depends how hard you're gonna lay the smack down on this hipster to, to launch him off the building. And after that happens, you uh, have to guide him through the air as he's flying along to get to the end of the level. But as you're going along, you're collecting You know, little icons to, to let him fly further, flying over certain things to, to get him to go back up higher. You can grab onto a bird or some balloons or even land into a, a cannon to shoot him further. Just if you're, if you're the type of person that, uh, you know, dislikes your stereotypical kind of hipster, this is a kind of a good uh, kind of release. You know, instead of uh, letting your rage out on actual hipsters, you can do it in this game, right, without any harm to anybody. So another really cool one. Next up is a game called Dragon Finger. Not Dragon Finger, I didn't misspell that. Dragon Finger from uh, d the developer Another Place, which is out of uh, London in the UK, which was actually founded by some uh, former developers who were on uh, the team who uh, worked on the uh, incredibly popular Fable franchise for Microsoft. Now, this game is an over the top kind of a thing. This is basically, the best way I could describe this game is if basically it's a Bruce Lee kung fu kind of game if Bruce Lee was a rag doll, right? You know, it's not just a traditional side scrolling kind of punch him, beat him up kind of game. You're, you're, you're literally kind of a la clumsy ninja, octodad kind of a thing. You're, you're, you toss him around, but you're not just tossing him, you toss him into the enemies to attack or you press onto the screen to get them to kind of ragdollishly kind of attack uh, the, the enemies that you're going uh, along. So it's just a, a very, very, very cool, very uh, off the wall, you know, a lot of stereotypical kind of uh, kung fu movie kind of stuff. Or even, even the sensei talks and the, the, the crazy, oh yeah, it's all, you know, kind of voice. I mean, it, it, just, it just makes you laugh. It's incredibly addictive to play as are all three of these games. So like a, Like I said, all three of this, these games are uh, are free to play. On um, if, if you uh, are the owner of an, of an iPad or an iPhone, and um, you can, I mean, as with a lot of these uh, free to play games, there's some uh, you know the microtransactions that uh, 
kind of let you level up or get some special abilities uh, quicker. But uh, but all three of these games, you you can uh, pretty well get uh, almost pretty well the full game experience without having to uh, to do all these microtransactions. And you just it happens a little bit slower, but you can still experience most of these free play games, not just these three, by just taking your time a little bit for you. You don't have to throw in a bunch of money at, at this game to to have fun with them. So are all three of these games uh, games that you should pick up? I'm gonna say definitely. You know, I mean I mean they're free. Right, so it's uh, just just download them and play them. The, all three of them are are just hilariously fun, quick fix games that you can just pick up and play, have a good time, and then move on to the rest of your day. Right. So that's it for this time, guys. Uh, as always, you can uh, check out uh, Mike's blog at the Alarm Bell Network WordPress com. It's uh, all about uh, kind of culture. Mike talks all about all kinds of different kind of stuff uh, on there. Uh, there's also my blog at joemoran.blogspot.ca. Um, I'm going to be posting, uh, trying to post more on there more on a regular basis. Uh, I've just been have so much on my plate here. Uh, I haven't had much of a time to do some writing, but I'm going to be posting a lot more on there. Uh, and also, you can check out our, our Twitch uh, channel called 24 Bit Heroes. We're on there all the time. With, uh, with Mike playing a, a wide variety of games and me in the chat room poking fun at him, commentating the usual fun that we have on there. Also, Recall Gaming on uh, Twitch, which is uh, done by our friend Jay Couture here in Brantford. Uh, does some very, very cool and innovative stuff on Twitch. Uh, even does the occasional 3D broadcast, which is uh, extremely, extremely cool, so make sure to check that out as well. So that's it for this time, guys. Peace. And as always, game on.